I'm Patrick Bailey with IQist.com. Today is October 13th, 2019, and today there is some super awesome news. It actually just came out yesterday, and it just, I just happened upon, through some news feeds I have and through YouTube, I just happened to notice it. Uh, Prusa has come out with a new printer, an, an original, they're calling it an original Prusa Mini. So they got a mini Prusa printer coming out, and I just kind of want to go over the news right now. It's really exciting. Okay, I want to go over the news and kind of go over what it means. There's some, it's just exciting where they're going with this. I love Proust. I, I can see from afar what he's, what I think he's doing. I think it's brilliant, brilliant where he's going. So, uh, the short, the short of it, there's a Prusa Mini coming out. It is officially out right now. You can do pre-orders for it right now, and it costs three hundred and forty-nine dollars uh, U.S. dollars. And of course, there's some shipping in hand and everything. And I'll kind of go over what I what I did, but basically, you know, almost half the price of the other one. And plus, they've made some improvements and some changes, but it is a little smaller. Uh, but it's not so bad. So uh, let me go over a little bit of details. So I'll put some links here uh, first. Boy, go check some of this stuff out. Go to go, they have a blog post, and here's the the uh, URL to it. And I'll try to put a link in the show notes on here where they got videos and they go over some of the details. And one thing for those of us who may already own a Prusa. He had a survey a while ago. What do you want? What are you looking for? Do you need, is the size of the printer good? Do you want a bigger one, a smaller one? And of course, everyone wants different things. Um, but I think he's nailing it right now because in here he talks about this one that's coming out. You can pre-order it now and hopefully get it before Christmas, depending on how many people order it and what their shipping is. Um, but some people, a lot of people who've been doing this for a while want a bigger printer. I want a bigger printer. And in fact, he talks about they're working on a Prusa XL. Not out, no time frame in here, but that's going to be printing really big. So uh, as an example, the Caprusa i3 Mark III that I have behind me uh, is, look at the notes, is 25 by 20, is it 25 by 25? That doesn't seem right. I think I wrote this down wrong. Let me go flip down my notes here. Oh, 25 by 21 by 20. And so that's... What we got going on here, which might have missed, I might have missed done my calculations here. Nope, I did it right. 25 by 20. Okay. Uh, so there's new, hopefully at some point they make a 40 by 40 by 40, which is huge, which I would like to have if Proust is making one. Um, but I can see that being an expensive thing. Not many, not everyone needs it, but there's occasions when you want a really big format printer to print a few things. But that's not for most of us. And where I'm trying to focus at is I'm trying to convince all the homeschool uh, kids and parents they need a 3D printer and a giant one that may cost, you know, right now I think if you try to get a big one like that, you're probably going to spend three to five grand. And that's just not practical for a homeschool uh, or just typical things. Uh, but the Prusa i3 Mark III is kind of practical at 750 um, but where everything is going is more reliability and more reasonable prices. Like right now, I I can't go to all the homeschoolers and say, hey, just buy it, don't think about it, get it. I have to say, I tell them, hey, this is great, it's a workhorse, there's all these cool things you can do, but it's gonna break. Not often, it'll break a little bit. So I keep telling them, hey, go buy the kit, build it yourself, so that when it does break, you can fix it. You know, like you have to resolder or something, I have to resolder the new ones. But he keeps making better changes, so at some point, uh, if you can buy, Five years from now, if you can buy what is equivalent to a Prusa i3 Mark III, maybe it'll go five years and not have to be a fit, not have to be a fix it. And then I can recommend it to anybody. But uh, with the fact that you need some repairs, most people. But but now also cost. If all of a sudden I have a lot of people like when I go to this homeschool conference, they love it. They're buying into it. They're slowly getting into it. But at seven fifty, you know, it's a bit of a commitment. But now this guy coming out at 350, oh, you're going, I'm a little excited to go to the homeschool conference this year because I will have them lining up. I mean, they will be 350. That's a, that's a family Christmas present for most of us, for most families. They're going to be, they're going to be all over it. Now, I did have a lot of people at the conference last year. They had some cheap $300 printers and they were cheap. They stunk. They didn't work. They broke down. And I kept telling the people at the conference, don't go buy a $300 printer. It's going to break, and it's not going to be a good deal. And it's not going to be simple and easy and robust like what I see Prusa doing. But now Prusa has one. So with that, let me go over. So there, you know, go to the blog, read some of that. Um, go to the site. I put a link to the, to the site to go buy one. 
And then also on here, there's a video and also a link directly. There's a video going over all the details, which is really cool. Um, but now some of the pluses and minuses. I think this is going to be perfect. I, I just bought one. I put my order in. Hopefully I'll be in the first rush. Um, now, if you already have a 3D printer and you know what's going on and you see this, you might go, you trust Proof, so you think it's going to be good. Man, I might go buy one. But if you're hesitant and you're not quite sure, uh, well, and also, you, if you want to get it by Christmas, boy, you better get your order in now. Uh, otherwise, you might be stretched out until January or February, depending on what, how, you know, depending on how popular this is. You know, if you don't get your order in, this, in the next week, you are probably not going to get it. Um, by Christmas, which might be fine. You know, you can order something for Christmas and then get it in January. That's fine. Depending on what you, what you desire. But also, if you're new and you're not quite sure, wait. Uh, I would say, depends on the, if you're willing to accept a little bit of risk. I think Proust is really reliable. I mean, if he's doing this, I think it's going to be a great job. But also, boy, it looks like a weird design to me. I'm like, looking at that, I'm like, is it going to be reliable? Is it going to be good? I think it will be. Uh, but once I get mine, which hopefully, you know, will be before Christmas. I'll put it together. I'll, I'll do some videos. I'll go over it and I'll beat it to death. I'll just beat it, beat it, beat it. And if it's as good as I'm hoping it's going to be, this will be my new printer. And I will be doing videos on this printer. I'll still have this one over here. But my focus is to convince homeschoolers. So if I'm going to convince homeschoolers, I'm going to be using the one that I think most likely the homeschoolers will be using. So I'm excited. This This is going to be... It's going to make my sell easier. I'm trying to sell this on all these all these homeschoolers that you need it, or even regular people at home who are school, school age. This is great at this price. And at this price, I can buy a couple of them versus the other one. Um, and I can see myself doing that. You know, it, it helps me to go teach and different things. But uh, at a first glance, not having had it, but looking at what he posts in his videos, let me kind of go over a little bit of the details of what we can see so far. So um, what do you gain? What do you lose? Uh, what do you, uh, from some of the things you lose is space. And so if you look at this, if you look through the video now, rather than having 25 centimeters by 21 by 20, you're reduced down to 18 by 18 by 18, which if you look at the cubes in the video, you're like, it doesn't seem like that much space lost. Now in reality, uh, it's 10,000 cubic meters versus 5,800 cubic meters. So you're losing something like 45% of volume. But is that such a bad thing? Especially, you know, what do you print? What's going on with you? And I, I think you're fine. So what I <clears throat> what I did, I went through all my G code that I've made in the past year and a half. And so since I'm a coder, I just went line by line, wrote a little script, analyzed everything really quickly, just to at least analyze the height to see of all the G code I've made, how many how much of my G code is actually going over 180 centimeters? And so I found 920 piece of G code. And of those 920, I had four G code files that went over four, four, and they went over just up to 200. I, Cause I don't try to push the limit. So just about as far as the height goes uh, now, there are also, there's some width. So, uh, like recently I did that pumpkin video where I made a 300% pumpkin that just fits on my printer. That's not going to fit on this. So maybe I can't do a 300% pumpkin. I can do a 200 and 60% pumpkin or 250% pumpkin, which is still quite big. Um, and so I have to tone some things in. Also, there's other things where I'm printing multiple things out. Uh, like for the conference, I print all these carabiners out. And maybe on one, I can get 16 on it. And now I can only get 10. That's fine. I mean, a lot, I mean, because, you know, they're also, they're also trying to point this out. Hey, you know, if you can only get, if you can get fewer on a print, you can buy more, more of these printers, which, you know, if you're homeschooling, you don't, you don't need to print like I'm printing. I'm, I'm printing a bunch of stuff to give away. This is, I think it's going to be a good thing. Uh, so anyway, you lose some volume, which for most of us is fine. Um, I, I went over all my files and I'm, you know, there's those, I have four that are a little too tall and I probably have, you know, in the back of my mind, aside from just having more objects on, the only one that comes to mind as far as width is that pumpkin I made. Nothing else really is that I've made a very... Ah, my science brought box. I made a science box. It's really big. Um, so maybe there's another half a dozen prints that are too big for this that I've made out of 920. That's not a bad ratio. Um, you also lose multicolor support, which I haven't used multicolor yet. I'm going to at some point. I'd like to do some videos on that, add multicolor. 
to this. In fact, my plan was to go get a Prusa i3 Mark III, what's it called, S now, the newest one, and then, you know, put a multicolor on it and then put a, uh, you know, put a Raspberry Pi on it and then get OctoPrint, start doing all that cool stuff. And I still may be doing that because I think that's interesting. Um, and I was kind of holding, I got the money set aside. I was holding that a little bit because I thought, hey, last year, he tends to kind of introduce new products about right now. So I thought maybe he'll do a little bump, a little upgrade and add something cool and new and I'll order it. Well, he t- made a whole new product. So now I'm ordering this. So uh, multicolor support is out, but I don't think you need it to start with. I don't think you need it at all. Um, also, there seems to be some limit on materials. If I go down to their spec sheet, what they're doing, they're comparing the two, comparing the two, the Mini and the Prusa MKS3S. And so there's the space, but a lot of these specs are the same. Travel speed the same. You lose a little bit of temperature, but not much. They've got a new chip in there, and that could be interesting. I have some speculations on that. You know, you lose the multicolored support. Uh, but also they limit some materials. So in here, any thermoplastic here, they just limit it down on what they support. And for me, I'm doing PLA 99% of the time. And every so often I might do a PETG. I think I've got one roll. So for me, uh, the limitation on materials is not a problem because I don't do any fancy materials. Um, uh, but it also, you know, so really nice for homeschooling, I think. So, uh, but what do you gain? You gain... On the gain side, you gain the price. This is a cheap price. Uh, also, if you look at this, it has an LCD screen. Let's see if I can get a better shot of it somewhere. They put an LCD screen, and they're going to be updating the firmware and doing different things. At first, it's not doesn't seem to be a touch screen. It looks rather simple, but he'll be updating it and doing some firmware things. It's going to be different. Also, you can see, um, I don't know if he's rendering this. I doubt it. But the, the fact that he's at least put an image in there, so maybe he's uh, sending a file over there and you can show an image, it may be rendered, I'm not sure, but uh, definitely helps people out to see it and push a button. Mm, I like it. Um, also, another thing you gain, Ethernet. Ethernet, and also there will be a Wi-Fi adapter to this, uh, so you can make it Wi-Fi. Now, what's that mean? Right now, I'm not sure for myself because I don't have a print farm, I don't have interaction with this. But it may mean, oh, and with that, you also, oh, uh, what, what, what will it mean? Uh, it could be with him fiddling with the firmware, maybe I can plug this into my Ethernet, plug into my network, and maybe I can just upload my file directly to it or, or something like that. I don't know if it has any, I don't think it has a hard drive space, but it does have a USB drive. Uh, so I'm not sure what that's going to mean. Uh, definitely something for handling farms or maybe an octoprint kind of thing. Uh, but for me right now, it might be a convenience because right now I, you know, I take my flash card out, I put up my computer, transfer my files, swap it over there and run it, which is not a problem, but would it be nice just to push a button and upload it? Um, we'll see where that goes. So another thing you get on their list of things you get is farm mode. For me, I don't know what that means yet. I don't know if that, I'm not planning on having a giant farm that I control but I think he's going to be putting some things together that are Octoprint-ish or it might just be Octoprint itself. So I'm not sure what that's going to mean, but that might be an interesting avenue to explore, but not for, you know, a first time one. It's one of those, if, if you're a first time user, I don't think you need to go into that, but it's interesting. Um, also down here, you can see the power supply is lower. So this might save a little bit of energy now because you got a smaller build plate. So a lot of times I'm heating that whole, the whole build plate's being heated, and I'm not using all that space. So maybe this might be slightly more efficient. But as you've seen in a bunch of my videos, power is not usually a problem. It's not usually the majority of the cost. So, you know, I don't think it's a plus or a minus. It just is what it is. Uh, also, no SD card. Now you've got a USB stick or you connect to the LAN. And what does that mean? I guess I'll find out. You know, maybe I'm going to be transferring stuff via USB stick, which to me is equivalent to just the SD card. Or maybe... I'll find a simple way or he'll put out some simple software where I can just quickly control it. Um, we'll see. We'll see where it goes. I am really stoked. I just want to get the word out there. So uh, the last little bit, I want to go over what I'm paying for. So just to let you guys know, landed is not 350. So to go over the price real quick, you know, 349. Um, I guess there's a black or a black and orange. So I got a black and orange. Now I did go with the, uh, 
you can order this the smooth steel and the texture powder. So I got both. That's another thirty dollar bump. But I think you think, think it's a good idea because you may not may or may not know is the plates that are removable are expendable. They do get used up in theory. Mine I bought in one, but the idea is that that thing is actually coated with a special plastic that's somewhat sacrificial. It'll last a long time depending on how you use it, but it is sacrificial. So um, I like the idea of just ordering both thirty bucks. It does not have have a filament sensor, so I'm adding one. But you can add one for twenty bucks. And then also for me, I added, I added a, some Azure. I added a, a roll of filament because I want to support him in that because he's doing good stuff. So if what I'm ordering is four twenty one forty nine, but also shipping is forty seven eighty five for me. So in total, my landed cost is gonna be four sixty nine thirty four. It's not a bad price. So just want to get the word on that out on this. I think it's gonna be good. I want to beat on it, but I think this might be the next answer to bring more and more people into 3D printing with the, I think the ultimate goal is that this is the microwave oven, that people just have it, or most will have it. Um, and the simpler and cheaper we can make it, and in my mind, you know, the 200 to $400 range, not that you need to hit it now. I want 200 to $400 reliable and good. And I think this kind of fits that venue. I think it will, so we'll see. Um, Anyway, I'm excited about it. If you want to take a slight risk, go buy one. Get one for Christmas. Uh, if you want to hold back and see what the reviews are and let other people beat on it, you know, they're going to be around. Wait until after Christmas. People will have beaten on them for a few months, and you'll see what the results are. I trust Prusa. I think it's going to be good. But if you're not set on having it by Christmas time, hold out a month or two and watch everyone else. Okay. Anyway. Really cool. Excited about it. Hey, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, hey, give it a thumbs down. Also, if you like what we're doing here, subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button. And lastly, have a piece of info to share? Just post a comment.